I just love when celebrities beef with uh, conservative influencers, as I said. Mm -hmm. So recently, Robbie Starbuck posted a picture of Megan Fox and her three kids. We've got a before. Viral. Actually, before we get started, we got a twenty dollars one from Joe Schmo, thirty-two electric boogaloo. Let's do that one. Uh, he said, uh, and another you one. See from the Dave same thing in a lot of Netflix movies. In the first ten minutes, they make comments about the evils and prevalence of white supremacy that have nothing to do with the plot, and then the topic never comes up again. Yes, and I fully believe that that's uh, it's one of two things: either the writers can't resist it and they have to get it in there somewhere, or the network has like some note, like we need some type of social commentary in here. I'm more inclined to believe the writers just really want to fit it in there somewhere, and they're desperate to prove to their literature professors in college that they're they're super woke like yeah. them and then we have one more from dave gazuli uh he said hey bert not only do you have a perfect <laughs> face for radio you also have a voice fit for print <laughs> yikes jk i love you i love all you people even with the stream problems hashtag pop buffer crisis <laughs> that's that's what it was it was buffering crisis yeah. there for a little bit there yes face for radio voice for print that's perfect that's not nice let's uh let us get started okay. now megan fox robbie starbuck recently posted a picture of megan fox with her kids uh that has gone viral in the last week her three sons are uh, noah Bodie, and journey interesting name choices uh, from her marriage with brian austin green and she has been outspoken about letting them grow up in a gender non-conforming way uh, where they're just not, um, you know, they're not raised within the bounds of being expected to dress like boys, which actually just means that she probably pressures them to dress like girls. And uh, she re you have to rigidly conform <laughs> to my non-conformity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this paparazzi photo was going viral. Um, and a lot of celebrities trans their kids like this is Charlize Theron. Yeah. Yeah. So he said, these are Megan Fox's sons. We used to live in the same gated community and our kids played at the park. I saw two of them have a full on breakdown saying they were forced by their mom to wear girls clothes as their nanny tried to console them. It's pure child abuse. Pray for them. I will point out that at least in the photo that I'm looking at, the they have long hair, but they don't. They're well, not one of all them, dressed. The one oldest of them is, one is wearing a shirt that says strong girls. Yes. But the other two, I mean, I'm more upset by the, the knockoff Led Zeppelin merch. I mean, you, you can't say that this is like how boys would ordinarily want to present themselves the hair I without mean, some outside influence the like the the kid on the right i don't know it just it just looks like clothes to me but there I are other wrong. pictures yeah. of yeah there's others well that are that way more differently yeah. he said uh, more context this was around five years ago so they were younger when they I'm are the than they are the in this pic there was another witness there and the nanny when the boys did this it started with one and the other chimed in third child not involved we knew California wouldn't do anything about it because the state celebrates this stuff and she's famous. Weirder wrinkle to this, I worked with Megan once on a small shoot about a year or so before she moved into our community and she was very nice to me so I was shocked when this happened later on. Just a very weird situation but clearly those boys weren't happy. I never said anything about it publicly because they were so young and I thought it would stop because they were vocally expressing their desire to wear boy clothes. We moved to Tennessee shortly after, and I saw this photo of the boys going around online last or this week. Really sad it didn't stop back then and wish there was more we could have done back then, but there really wasn't anything we could do in California. It should be fair to point out that her husband, her ex-husband, says that this isn't true, whether that's just Kim covering or not. Well, I don't know. Uh, Brian Austin Green went to TMZ and yeah. said this is a totally bogus story. There were only a few people in their world and that can actually verify whether or not a story like this is true. And I can tell you with absolute certainty it is not. This person trying to claim this is a true this is true is a perfect example of someone with selfish motives that does not care about negatively affecting a parent child relationship. Um I yeah, I mean, but you can't really argue with firstly, it's proven that they were living in the same gated community in Calabasas called the Oaks. Um, multiple outlets reached out and verified that this they they shared addresses there at the same time. And then you have the the one eyewitness there and the nanny who was there. Um, yes. Pause. And then we have pause. Party. It's party 
Thank you. It's a fairly serious Thank discussion. You. So continue. And then we have Megan Fox's public comments. Um, this is about her oldest son, Noah. She said, Noah started wearing dresses when he was about two. No, no two-year-old is wearing anything that they specifically chose to wear. No. They don't have. Nor does it matter because they're, they're a that child, age. and that does not mean that they're a girl. She said, "I bought a bunch of books that sort of address these things and address a full spectrum of what this is. Some of the books are written by transgender children. That doesn't exist." Some of the books are just about how you can be a boy and wear a dress. You can express yourself through your clothing however you want. And that doesn't even have to have anything to do with your sexuality. Um, They're too young to so understand these concepts. So she's clearly drunk the Kool-Aid. Yep. And this is not out of the ordinary for Hollywood. But what Robbie Starbuck said on Twitter really got Megan Fox angry. And she clapped back on Instagram. First, she posted a picture of <laughs> okay this is this is like where it gets really weird she posted a picture of a new york post headline saying uh stunned nurse i caught witches holding a carcass eating ritual on my security camera um and she posted this on her instagram story and captioned it me outside rob starbucks house of this witch crouched down uh like an animal eating a dead animal carcass in this woman's lawn so she's in a vague way threatening to yeah. go like hold some kind of witchcraft ceremony outside of ravi starbucks's house <laughs> well, it's very strange um and then ravi starbuck responded um on instagram uh, well she she also posted something on her on her actual timeline and uh, it was a screenshot of his post she said hey robbie starbuck i really don't want to give you this attention because clearly you're a clout chaser but let me teach you something irregardless she uses the word irregardless i love it when they use irregardless irregardless of how desperate you may become at any given time to acquire wealth power success or fame never use children as leverage or social currency that's ironic the projection is real, especially under malevolent or erone erroneous pretense. Um, <laughs> she continued, exploiting my child's gender identity to gain attention in your political campaign has put you on the wrong side of the universe. I have been burned at the stake by insecure, narcissistic, impotent little men like you many times, and yet I'm still here. You effed with the wrong witch. The cringe, <laughs> the cringe. Um, so I guess she's saying that she's reincarnated from witches that were burnt at the stake. Makes perfect sense. Uh, <laughs> I, wonder if, I mean, if the witches that were burned back then were that hot, maybe, yeah. But I mean, quite literally what she's doing is exploiting her child's quote unquote gender identity mm -hmm. to gain attention. The Chances, Not in a political campaign, but in her industry. The chances of three children all having been born in the wrong body is not just astronomical. It's impossible. It's yes. not realistic. It's a social construct here. I'm sorry. Like me, who is normally the... I don't think that a child can be transgender. No. no. Like, um, in this case... Point blank, period. It's, it's not anything that comes from anyone but their parents or caregivers. Um, and it's overwhelmingly it's showing itself in, ce in celebrities in Hollywood where it becomes part of their identity. It's basically they turn the child into a purse puppy. It's, a, it's an yeah. accessory for them to share with the world. And people shared the story of Angelina Jolie's daughter, um, Shiloh, being like raised as a boy, identifying as a boy, going by a different name, yep. wearing suits and stuff to red carpet premieres as a child, and then eventually realizing that she was born to live as a woman in society mm -hmm. and begins presenting that way they people posted this story as some kind of success story of like raising a kid without the bounds of gender structures and, and gender roles when in reality it would have been so much better for for any child to not have to mm -hmm go through this like journey of self-discovery in the first place yeah. because it's a given that you it generally 99.9 .9 something percent of people don't need to even think about this mm. like gender dysphoria is not a common thing um and if someone goes through that later in life then that's for them to deal with as an adult 
um, not for them to be introduced to the idea at like two years old. When it's, as too, Fox when it's going to do nothing but confuse them. Right, exactly. Yeah. So the confusion was unnecessary in the first place. And she could have just been raised as a tomboy that whole time. Like, that's just really that's what actual out. gender nonconformity is, is telling her that she can be a woman, but also not look feminine. Not telling her that she's a boy. <laughs> that is just like, that's actually imposing more gender role uh, expectations on a kid. It's, it's the opposite of what you're saying it is, you know? Um, so then Robbie Starbuck responded to this post on Instagram. He commented, I don't even have a political campaign, Megan. I lived in the same gated community as you in Calabasas, not naming it because I don't know if you still live there or not. Our kids played together there. Ask your nanny. She was the one bringing them to the park, not you. Oof. Oof. <laughs> I have photos of our kids playing because they played so regularly. Your boys were very sweet, as I said in that thread, and the outburst of emotion was sad for all of us, including our kid who witnessed it. An independent adult witnessed this, and I have a text from them about it. You can DM and I'll show it to you privately. I only said something now because I hadn't followed along after we moved and figured change would ensue after that incident, but I saw this photo online, realized that it continued, and that brought it, and that brought it all to the surface where it felt necessary to say something. Very sad to see it didn't stop. I'm not afraid of witchcraft. I'll pray for you and your boys. It's you who needed to hear that this happened. Maybe you'll investigate those feelings that burst out when you see the independent text or photos that I'll happily send you. I firmly believe that what I have, wit that what I have witnessed should never happen to a child. I have Jesus, so I'll never fear, fear witchcraft, but I'm happy to provide photos or texts for you to think about. As for cloud chasing, I'm not the one doing a blood drinking ritual for attention. I'm speaking up, and if I'm guilty of anything, it's not doing so sooner. He's also plenty successful on his own. Yeah, he also, he was in this business living in a, the same gated community. You don't live as in like, Calabasas unless you're as Megan successful. Fox. Like, yeah. he didn't need to clout yeah. chase anyway. And it's true, he doesn't have a, a political campaign. He's not running for office. Um, but he did give these screenshots to EV Magazine for us to see. And he reached out to this independent witness that was there and said, hey, do you remember when Megan Fox's sons were crying about wearing girls' clothes? And they said, hi, yes, I still remember, why? I never saw those kids anymore. They've moved from the Oaks too. So obviously screenshots can be doctored, whatever, mm. but why would he have a reason to go this far if it didn't happen? Yeah. I find it totally believable. Yeah. And it's sick. I don't know if there's anything you can do to stop it in Hollywood. Now with the advent of social media, where it's not just the celebrity who's uh, part of their brand, right? Like their entire family is now part of their brand. This stuff will keep happening and will get worse, mm -hmm. likely. We have a $20 super chat from Disco Jensen says, am I the only one who thinks it's weird that tomboys are young girls into traditionally male things, but lady boys are trans men? <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm not getting the comparison. Uh, so like, well, I, I've never even heard the term lady boys. I don't know. I've never um, heard that term before. But I mean, yeah, there are girls and like, there are little girls and little boys out there who maybe don't have traditionally feminine or masculine hobbies and they don't maybe fit in socially for that reason. But that mm. doesn't mean that you need to introduce them to a bunch of academic jargon. Yeah, the problem is she went and bought those books that she thinks are the right answer and likely just written by yeah. activists. Like you don't need to put them on pills or injections or medicalize them yep. just because they don't socially conform to your narrow idea of what a girl or a boy should be. You're the one with the, the narrow gender roles. I think conservatives actually have the more balanced view on this. Yeah, they oddly enough have a very binary idea of what being yeah. a, a boy or a girl is in a world where the ones who are being called bigoted are the ones who are like, look, no, we're actually agreeing. Something is a spectrum. You can actually just be a girl who likes to play football uh, and wear jeans instead of a skirt. You don't have to just be uh, a rigid definition because it's always over the top, right? Uh, the same thing happens when they end up, like when somebody, when a guy dresses up as a girl, right? They give a cartoonish idea of what feminine looks like mm -hmm. it's overblown over the top idea of it right like when we see the drag performances granted i understand drag is a performance it's not the same thing as cross-dressing but a lot of times when you see that stuff they show you an over-the-top version of what the other gender looks like I mean, it's a minstrel show yeah. of women basically i find it degrading to women 
Um, and I didn't always like put those pieces together, but it certainly is. And I think there are a lot of gay men who are misogynistic. Did you see, I saw the thing the other day, it, was, it would have been great for cringe. It says like Dylan Mulvaney puts on leggy display at so-and-so premiere. And I was like, can we, can he not, what? can, can we not have the Dylan, the, the leggy displays from Dylan Mulvaney? I'll, I'll pay you money to not yeah. show me the Dylan Mulvaney leggy pictures. People please. were recently posting some new pictures of Dylan Mulvaney. Um, he went blonde and bleached his eyebrows and they were like, see, this will really show the conservatives that this is a real woman and it's like no we still think that you look disturbing <laughs> see the backlash against like garth brooks <laughs> garth brooks is like i'm gonna still serve bud light and I, i'm just laughing because i think the boycotts are granted love the boycotts seem to be working these companies are taking huge hits but it's just really funny like watching all the people fight like never if i had looked at the end of the world bingo card would i have thought that i'd be seeing like john rich arguing with with Garth Brooks over Bud Light beer. And, and never did I think I would see Megan Fox and Robbie Starbuck no. getting nope. in an internet spat about the way that Megan Fox dresses her kids up. Just, <laughs> I didn't have that one on my, on my end of the world bingo card. It wasn't there. But yeah, like Megan Fox, if your goal was to look cray cray, you accomplished that. I guess. Well, I mean, it's part of her brand, right? She she does the blood drinking with her with her boyfriend that's younger than her, and uh, she she looks like she's supposed to forever trap and and uh, court this young like this young look, and she wants to feel young, and she wants to feel like the cool mom, and the cool mom yeah. understands that gender is not a binary, and the cool mom understands that just because your son <laughs> wanted to wear a dress when he was two means that he's actually a girl, and you should put him on hormones. And Dude, the cool mom used to be the mom that says you know you can drink as long as you do it under my roof and, and now no the cool mom is like you can take we should your, put you on puberty blockers you can take your hrt you just have to do it under this roof yeah i'm taking your car keys if you want to take your uh. <laughs> to take your hormonal if you want your hormone replacement therapy you have to do it here where it's safe Love park that. your car in the back It'll be fine. We live in such an insane world. We really do. And it's <laughs> it's scary, too, because, like, look, Megan Fox is not losing popularity. If anything, she's becoming more popular these days. She's got more movies coming out. Uh, she stays relevant in the news all the time with these types of stories or the ridiculous stories of her with MGK and their, uh, you know, whatever they're doing with their blood drinking and their weird rituals. And then they wonder why Tyrese Gibson is going on in, doing interviews where he's like, they're trying to normalize the devil. Well, gee, I wonder, are they trying to normalize the devil? And then they're like, no, you're crazy. And then they gaslight you and say, no, you're crazy. That's it's always been this way, dude. Yeah. And uh, it's just crazy. It just makes no sense to me. I wanted to add one more thing that Robbie Starbuck posted from a, an interview that Megan Fox gave in May this year. Um, it says she knew her oldest son didn't want to subscribe to gender stereotypes from the time that he was in the womb. She admits she is raising all three boys gender neutral. Does she really think anyone believes she didn't push this on him, uh, on them? Uh, here's her quote. When I became pregnant with Noah, I could feel through my mother's intuition, I suppose, that he was not subscribing to gender stereotypes. So I decided to provide an environment for him early on that would allow him to discover how he wanted to express himself. These narcissistic She knew from the womb that her son was non-binary. These narcissistic celebrities <laughs> are insane. Just saying, look into the correlation between the mothers of trans, so-called transgender children and rates of borderline personality disorder and histrionic personality disorder. It's always the moms. It's a it? real thing. So, I mean, why do why is it that moms always have Munchausen's by proxy and not fathers? It's always the moms. Something to think about. Little food for thought there. <laughs> the um, you know what? We gave them the right to vote, and then this happens. I hate it when that. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a I'm joke. Not. I'm not kidding. It's a, it's a joke. Everyone's like... And then Elon Musk, uh, it, possibly referencing this situation, said that he was looking for a uh, VP of witchcraft and propaganda. <laughs> that was my favorite part. I think he's just at shooting... At Twitter a, or at Tesla? I think he's just shooting a shot, personally. I, I think Megan shooting... Fox is definitely his type. She's crazy enough. Yep. He's like... Crazy, me. hot, moderately intelligent. Um... Uh, Megan Fox is probably in that like prison state where you're like just intelligent enough where you can tell the ceiling yeah. of of your intelligence. So uh, she just has a wide vocabulary and And then you look at her and you're like, "Oh my gosh, 
She's so hot. And she uses irregardless in the sentence. Oh, my God. She's definitely a smart, hot girl, not a hot, smart girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and that really bothers her. Wait, no. <laughs> it, it, like, what makes someone a smart, hot girl as opposed to a hot, smart girl? If you're primarily a hot girl, you're a smart, hot girl. Oh. If you're primarily a smart girl, you're a hot, smart girl. Okay, yeah. Then so she's primarily hot, hot yes. obviously. But she's like, she's got like a 115 to 120 IQ. Yeah. So she's got like a wide vocabulary, thinks that she's way more intelligent than she is, and is really insecure that she's been valued for her looks all her life. Th that's all Michael Bay's fault for all and that. And it's Michael Bay's fault. It's, yeah, it really we have is. one person to she, blame. I still remember when she we got she got mad. She's like, he made me work 12 to 15 <laughs> hours a day. And everyone's oh, no. like, oh, oh, geez. What are you going to do with those long work days, like making millions of that dollars? That's been so hard for you. For uh, for being smoking hot and uh, and saying no and by the way, I still like her better in Transformers than I like any of the ones like like I like Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox more than I like Mark Wahlberg and the people involved in those ones or these new ones. I still put Shia at the top with Megan Fox. What did you think two. of the Expendables trailer? I thought it was fine. It was mostly action. So, thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.